What is up, Core Addicts? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles I never got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. As always, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 and old do you want to see me customize next that I haven't done yet, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Vapid Radius. So this car is an OG vehicle that's been in the game since day one and can be purchased from the Severn San Andreas website for 32000 or of course you can get off the street for free, which you definitely want to do because honestly, I don't think it's really worth paying money for and the main reason for that is because this car basically has no visual customization options, which is pretty unfortunate, but an OG 2013 SUV, you sort of expect that. However, like I've stated in the past, my goal is to review every car in the game, which we're getting really close to at this point. Again, I will leave a list down below in the comments of cars that I haven't done yet. Also something I wanted to mention here, a lot of you guys have been asking me about my gaming setup lately. Obviously, I haven't made a setup tour video as of yet, but if you want to see an early look at everything that I use to record my videos, the microphone I'm using right now, my entire PC setup, keyboard, mouse, everything, it's all there, including my very comfortable E1 gaming chair. Obviously, I spend hours on end creating and editing content, so I need something that's very comfortable to spend hours on, and this E1 chair is fantastic. I recently got a newer one and absolutely love it. I will leave a link down below to that as well with a discount code just for you guys, so. Now in terms of performance, the Radius is in the SUVs class and is around mid-pack in that class which actually isn't too bad, being around the pace of the regular Baller and XLS depending on the track. And thankfully it's all-wheel drive which does make it a lot more fun to drive compared to other front-wheel drive cars in game. But anyways, in terms of what the Radius is based on, it's primarily based on the first generation Ford Edge. Plus, it also takes some slight styling cues from other SUVs, but again, most of it is the Ford Edge. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the customization of the Radius. Alright, Radius, let's do it. Okay, we got armor, brakes, typical stuff here, engine, uh, lights, we'll do some xenons, plate. Well, I mean, technically it is an American car, so I guess we'll throw my America plate on there. Even though, not really the first thing you think of when you think of American cars. But anyways, respray. Um, for this one, I'm going to go with a nice metallic uh, dark blue. I think it's going to look great on this car. So we're going to go here to... Well, it's after the greens. Okay. Dark blue. Pearlescent, we're going to go with ultra blue. You can see it just really brightens it up there. It looks pretty good on this car. Um, and then for secondary color, we're just going to go ahead and make that match. Go dark blue. Boom. Very nice. Now, the secondary color on this car is pretty weird. It's actually uh, like the roof area, the mirrors, um, and then the front bumper, the side skirt, like half the rear bumper and half the front. Really, really weird the way they did this. Um, yeah, I just, I think it's better just to make the match. Not a fan of a secondary color split on this thing. It's very, very weird. Okay. A uh, Kreblum for this car goes on the hood. Suspension. Hmm. I feel like if you lower it too much, it makes it look sort of like a hatchback or something. Like a car. I don't, I don't know. Um, I mean, it's supposed to be a, a small crossover SUV. Uh, you know what? Let's go with, I think, street suspension is fine. Transmission, turbo, max it out. Wheels. For this one, I'm thinking of putting um, some nice custom wheels, uh, sort of like the ones from the uh, first-gen Ford Edge Sport, so the Sport variant of this car. Um, it had these really nice, like, five-spoke chrome and black wheels. They looked really good on it. Um, and I want a nice reference to that. Obviously, there's no wheel that looks even remotely close to that because I still want that chrome in there. So I, I don't want it to be like a full color either. So I've gone through all the wheels. 
Um, and I think in the track category, the split stars look very good on here. So it's got the chrome lip, and then it's got like a nice twin five-spoke wheel. And I think it really goes with the look of this car, so we'll do that. Um, and then in terms of color, we're just going to go with the black. And that, you know, we still have the chrome in there, so it's not too much black. I think it's a nice balance. Um, windows, definitely black them out. And that's all the options there. All right, let's take it for a drive, exit to ground. Looks pretty good. Would have been nice if it would have had some customization, but it seems like a lot of the vehicles we haven't customized yet um, are sort of like the the ones that have no customization. I guess the less popular ones, but still an OG vehicle. It doesn't look too bad. It's, it's a shame they didn't do any custom parts for this. You know, some simple things, exhaust tips, um, hood, maybe like a front a splitter or something. Um, just little things, but in its stock form, it doesn't look too bad. All right, floor it here. It is all-wheel drive. It has pretty good acceleration, and believe it or not, it, it's not a slow SUV. It's a mid-pack in the SUVs class, which is pretty impressive, even though the SUVs class um, is, is very spread out. Like the top SUVs are, like, basically sports car performance, but um, in terms of, like, OG SUVs, this one's pretty decent. Back in the day, um, when the game first came out, the king of the SUVs class for most tracks was the regular baller. Um, this one was a bit slower, but it was a nice alternative too. And then obviously when the Huntley came out, that took over for a long time. And the Contender came out, which is a pickup truck, and then that took over. And then the Tauros, no, actually, no, before the, before the Tauros, it was the XLS Armored. Then the Tauros, yeah, that's just... <laughs> and they, they have pretty large... Um, differences like in terms of the uh, lap times it, it's uh but this thing's sort of in the middle so nice balance very easy to drive nothing really too crazy or wild about it I mean it drives like any other smaller SUV it definitely doesn't have a ton of body roll like bigger SUVs so that's nice like the cavalcade for example that you can really feel the body roll um, this not so much it's nice and stuck to the ground for the most part um, so it handles pretty nice, actually. Oh, that's an, that's an SUV there. <laughs> that Granger, for example, that I hit, that one, that one, definitely has a ton of body roll. You can really feel it in the corners. Um, but yeah, it, it's not really anything all that crazy or exciting, but for those of you who like collecting cars in GTA Online, um, definitely one of the uh, least popular choices for this one, but Maybe if for some reason you really like the Ford Edge design, you can um, add this one to your collection. Oh yeah, first person here, so 2013 OG SUV interior, nothing really too crazy there. Um, it's funny that they're still using this interior <laughs> till this day on newer SUVs. Blows my mind. Alright, let's hop out here. Let's see what engine model they put in this, because this thing quite clearly has a V6 exhaust note. Um, or six cylinder exhaust note. Let's see what they put under the hood here. A V8 engine model, kind of like squished together. <laughs> oh man, they use that engine model in so many different cars, and they, and then they just like squish it. They change the scale of it a little bit, <laughs> depending on what car they throw it in. Uh, yeah, not the best interior there. The trunk. Interesting, like the dip it has. It's like it's not a flat floor to like the entry it like just dips down kind of interesting there okay all right I mean a run-of-the-mill SUV but I mean if you customize it the right way you know it's a nice color some nice wheels it actually looks pretty decent it's not an ugly car so anyways guys definitely let me know what uh, vehicle you want to see me customize the next from late 2015 and older that I haven't done yet again the list will be down below in the comments thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.